So let's start. Today we will learn about how to analyze the CD data. This was our uh, data taken from the instrument Jesco. First we will copy the data and put it in a Excel sheet. So uh, first thing I will tell you how to make a curve. So uh, X axis is our nanometer wavelength, Y axis is our CD uh, M DAG. So these two things we will copy. Unit M Yeah, graph is nothing, but we'll use this graph. Okay, this graph only, and then press. Okay. Uh, this doesn't look good in this, like it's coming in the middle. What we will do is click on this axis and make the axis. Lower left. Apply. Okay. This is came here. And we will also define the minimum and maximum of this excesses. Minimum was over 198 and maximum was 260. 195? Do so that I Okay. This is how the graph will look. Okay. This is for the representation. You can mm, redesign the graph also. Make it colorful. Now we will go to the analysis tool. Tool which we are using is best cell. We will go with we will search this and then go to this link. Title is optional, uh, so we can write a HG. We have chosen our file and the file uh, is in M degree. We have to define our concentration. So for the sake of this experiment we will define it as number of residue is the total number of amino acid present in that. Put all the values. So it says known integer wavelength data was discarded since our data was taken in 0.5 interval. So it has taken uh, 200, 201, 202, this kind of data. Also data for the analysis sake purpose, data about 250 was discarded. CD unit is converted into delta epsilon. So all those things we have entered like number of residue, concentration. Uh, based on those, it has converted this into uh, this delta epsilon. So now it is concentration independent data. So for any experiment, if you convert it into delta epsilon, then it will be in concentration independent. Fine. Now 
if we go to calculate the secondary structure it gives us a list of what it contain so it contain 55% anti paler 5.4% anti paler sheets 9.8% turn and others are 29.6% so this data you can export in csv txt format or this file as image and you can also comment on whatever it is.